Hello friends, welcome to Nizad. This is Rohit Sharma, and a very good evening to all of you. And uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss the syllabus, detailed syllabus that is this, uh, for the executive post of signal and telecommunication. We will discuss each and every subject and the topic related to it, each and every subject in this video. So, so we can say how to prepare for TFCCIL exam 2021. So for this, first we have to know the syllabus and the each and every topic which we have to prepare for this exam okay so uh, for first of all we have to see the subjects that are that should be covered in this exam by us uh, this is first is the general knowledge and legal, uh, logical reasoning i am not telling the syllabus for this right now i will be focusing on your technical subjects okay that is network theory control system signal and system electronic devices analog electronics data electronics electromagnetic theory communication system and engineering maths okay so first of all we are going to discuss the syllabus for network theory so first Network theory is divided into four portions. First is your basics, then sinusoidal analysis and steady state AC circuits, then network theorem, and last one is your resonance. Okay. In basics, uh, the topics that are covered will be KCL, Kirchhoff current law, Kirchhoff voltage law, nodal and mesh analysis, star delta transformation, equivalent resistance uh, to, to calculate the equivalent resistance, inductance, capacitance, and impedances. Next is your sinusoidal analysis and steady state AC circuits. In network theorem, these are the theorem that uh, that should be covered by you. Okay, uh, question uh, majorly question will be asked from super, super, superposition, Thevenin, Norton, maximum power transfer, and reciprocity. Okay, so these are the theorem that should be covered by you. Ne last topic for network theory is resonance. So series in parallel resonance, numerical based upon resonant frequency, quality factor, and bandwidth. So this is the syllabus. That should be covered in network theory for DFCCIL exam. Now, next one is a control system. This uh, this subject carry major importance in this exam. So, first is basics of open loop and closed loop control system. Okay. Next is evaluation of transfer function. Transfer function can be calculated by the help of two techniques. First is the block block diagram reduction technique, and second is the Masson's gain formula. Next is your feedback characteristics. Okay. Next is your time response analysis. Time response analysis, first order system, second order system only. Calculation of steady state error, rise time, peak time, settling time, maximum power overshoot and delay time. This is covered in your syllabus. Also, frequency domain analysis is also covered in this syllabus. That is based upon polar plot, polar plot, Bode plot, Nyquist plot and the calculation of phase margin and gain margin. Compensator and controllers are also there. Basics of this is that is P proportional controller, integral controller, derivative controller, PI, PI proportional integral controller, PD and PID controller. Basic questions will be there from these questions, uh, from these topics. Okay. So this is the syllabus for your control system. Now next one is your signal system is also covered here, but only basics. Okay. Here the major importance is given to this topic, introduction to signal and system. That is various types of signal diagram. Parabolic signal, your uh, step signal, your uh, these are the signal system, causal, non causal system, uh, linear, non linear system. These are the topics that should be covered in this. In this, okay. Next is your basics of Fourier analysis, uh, Fourier series is also there, and basics of Fourier transform is also there. No major calculation is uh, uh, no major calculation is there on this topic, only basics, only basics, and the formula is based on this, okay. Basics and formula based on this, okay. Next one is the fourth one, electronic devices. In electronic devices, three topics are there, semiconductor physics, semiconductor diode and basics of BJT and FET. In semiconductor physics, this is same as the ISRO exam, okay. So conductor, semiconductor, insulator, N-type and P-type semiconductor. So these are the topics that is covered in semiconductor physics. Semiconductor diode, PN junction, modes of uh, diode, modes of operation, expression for diode current, curtain voltage, diffusion and transition capacitance. These are the uh, these are the topics that are covered in this electronic devices and the last one is basics of BJT and FET that is bipolar junction transistor and its operation modes okay that is followed by mode, reverse bias mode, forward conduction and etc etc okay uh, field effect transistor and its modes next is the analog uh, sorry data electronics so this is also important for this I have seen around 18 question in a previous year paper of 2018 18 questions were there from data electronics okay so first one is your logic gates Minimization of Boolean expression, implementation of Boolean expression using NAND and NOR gates, number system conversion, binary code, gray code, the different types of codes, then combination circuits, sequential circuits, combination circuit that is half adder, full adder, half subtractor, full subtractor, multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoder, decoder. And secondly, sequential circuits, SR flip flop, all types of flip flops, okay, and counters. 
Next is ADC and DAC, analog to, analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter and the numerical based upon that, based upon it can also come. Last is your logical families. Okay. Next is your analog electronics. Analog electronics also covers a good portion in this is in this exam. Around 12 to 13 question will come from this topic also. So diode circuits are covered, half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier. Some part of some part of power electronics will also be covered. So I will cover in this in this part only. Analog electronics only. Okay. Next is BJT characteristics and biasing, transistor biasing and thermal stabilization. BJT as amplifier, feedback amplifier, operational amplifier, and the last signal amplifiers. Next one electronic electromagnetic field theory i have seen only basic questions from there that is questions based upon the definitions and the important concepts only so coulomb law electric electric field intensity electric flux density gauss law divergence gradient and transmission line okay next one is your communication system so here you can have seven to eight questions from this topic okay so i have already discussed the analysis of previous year paper in the previous video okay so you can go through it and uh, introduction block diagram of communication system modulation need of modulation so two types of modulation are there first is amplitude modulation and angle modulation this should be covered sound uh, the super heterodyne receivers i have not seen any question on super heterodyne receiver but you can cover this uh, this is a uh, this is not a very large portion you can cover this and last one is your pulse modulation Next and the last topic that is engineering maths or you can say applied maths. Uh, if I talk about uh, the previous year paper, I have only seen questions from calculus. I have only seen questions from calculus in your previous year paper. Okay. In 2016 and 2018. But in diploma, you cover all these topics. Okay. In diploma, when you are studying your diploma, uh, studying in your diploma, you have covered all these topics. So I suggest you uh, suggest all of you please study all these topics as you have studied in this diploma so i uh, exa so i uh, so from any topic you can have questions in your exam okay so these are the uh, these are the topics that would be that would be covered in this exam okay uh, so this this syllabus is on the basis of my previous year, uh, previous year analysis of 2016 and 2018 Okay, if you have any doubt regarding the syllabus, you can ask me in the YouTube description or in a telegram group. Okay, so, so don't forget to subscribe the channel. Please like and share the video. Share with your friends, those who are preparing for DFCCI exam so that they can also get benefit from this. Okay, till then all the very best guys and take care in this time. Okay.